Australia's great race has produced many firsts down through the years, but perhaps nothing to equal the introduction of Seven's race cam a decade ago. The in-car camera device was the brainchild of Australian television network executive Jeff Healy. His Sydney engineering team gave television viewers a world first, and race cam was soon modified to become a full pan and tilt unit, including some fascinating commentary from the flight deck. For Bathurst 79 and 1980, we kept the cameras inside the car. But in 81, we went outside with little Heady. That's Headley. The headlight camera was an instant hit and came with its own washers and wipers. The forerunner of our intricate Clearview system, which Seven has patented internationally. The Aussie-based technology was headed for the world stage. America's CBS network contracted Seven to enhance its high-rating NASCAR stock car series, and the American broadcast network soon followed with race cam adaptation to the kart series, including the Indianapolis 500. They had for a number of years tried to do in-car cameras, and, and had failed. And they uh, had seen our coverage of Bathurst and what we were capable of doing, and well, the rest is history. As race car designers have moved towards lighter and faster machinery, race cam engineers have been able to meet the criteria. This pan and tilt model tips the scales at 17 kilos. Naturally, not too many teams want to carry that much weight, so these lighter models were adapted. They weigh a mere five kilograms. American and European engineers have tried their own version of race cam, targeting both Formula One and international motorcycle competition. However, the Australian television network engineers, under the tutelage of Jeff Healy, have responded this year with new mini cameras capturing every incident of the Indianapolis 500, and only last weekend brought a new dimension to motorcycle racing in the World Championship race at Oran Park. Two cameras were fitted to Michael Dowson's Marlborough Yamaha to give a crystal clear view of the racing as well as the rider in the hot seat. Well, we're very fortunate we had the opportunity through the telecast to demonstrate that we can produce pictures from motorbikes. Uh, the sky's the limit, Mike. Uh, with new technology, large-scale integrated circuits, all the marvellous things that are coming out of the electronic uh, designers these days, particularly suitable for sport telecasting. It's going to give viewers at home really wonderful pictures in the future and very exciting sport coverage. For today's 2E's 1000, our race cam team has been kept busy fitting seven units to five cars, their biggest undertaking yet. Let's meet the pilots who carry the cameras. Take one and it's Queensland's top banana Dickie Johnson and Tassie Tiger John Bow. Take two and it's the BP Nissan connection of Glenn Seaton and Anders Olofsson. Take three and meet the 1986 Bathurst winner Alan Grice and the eloquent Wynn Percy. Take four and you'll see we're aboard Alan Moffat's ANZ Sierra for another mountain romp. Take five and look who we've found, the man they call Peter Perfect. Make no mistake, we've got the mobile BMW covered from every possible angle. Race cam may be ten years old today, but as the man said, the best is yet to come. And that, my friends, is a promise.